Everybody, Master here, and we are back with another video. Um, this is Zetsubo no Shima. Um, this is our um, our gameplay. Uh, we've been playing since around three o'clock in the morning when the map came out. Um, this is just a quick little guide on how to get the Wonder Weapon, the T something something. I, don't, I honestly don't know the name of it, but um, this is just a quick gameplay. We're gonna have stuff like Pack a Punch and more stuff coming up. But um, and hop right into this. So this first clip is it, you guys should know the layout of the map at this point if you're watching this video so you're gonna wanna go to lab A pick up the water this is in case you don't know you pick up the water you go into lab A you put the water in that that sink looking thing in lab A <coughs> and that will turn the power on you do the same in lab B on the other side of the map that will send for a short period of time it will open well you're gonna have a short period of time to open the doors in the center of the center of the map. If you guys know what I'm talking about, that you can't open unless the power is on. Then you're gonna to want to go straight through until you hit this room. Just keep opening doors straight until you hit hit that room. And there's the switch. It's gonna say that you need to unclog the the sewer systems or something. You're gonna to to do exactly what I'm doing in this gameplay. A light's gonna be flashing. You have to find that light underwater. You're gonna to have to. I didn't realize that at the time. You're gonna to have to stay under there. You're gonna to have to kill the zombies so that the system itself gets unclogged and you can turn on the complete power of the map that's just the basic setup for how you're going to want to do this and one other thing throughout one of the pieces you're not going to be able to get because i didn't get it on recording i couldn't find it basically what scott did is he just found a zombie i don't know how he did it i apologize it had it you can blame it on scott it had he he claims it had a bright light on its back and you kill it and it drops um, this this uh, this part for the wonder weapon. He doesn't know how it dropped it, but it dropped it. I I can't help you with that part. You're just gonna have to figure. You're gonna have to kill the zombie and get that part. It's gonna be on the zombie's back. I think he was around lab B when it happened. I'm not 100% sure. This next clip is. <clears throat> I've been having a bad cough. Um, not about that. It's um, it's where you're actually gonna want to be for building the actual weapon. Right now, I don't this gameplay. I'm, th this is what it's gonna actually look like. That's the wonder weapon. That's where you're gonna want to build it. Um, once you build it, the wonder weapon. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's. In my opinion, I used the Wonder Weapon for the one game we had, and that's a Cypher, by the way, which goes right over my head. But in my opinion, the Wonder Weapon was not that great. Um, to get the next piece, or to get this piece, you're going to need to, in the room where you turn on the power with the sink thing, you're going to want to, there's going to be an option to drop the, the cage. Within the cage, this is at lab A, there's going to be that foot or arm with the purple uh, mist coming off of it. You're going to have to wait till a spider round or a spider spawn. The spiders are going to go, or a spider, is going to go into the cage. It's going to close the cage. You go back up. You call, <coughs> you call it up. And then that mechanism right there will stab the creature and suck its life out of it or some crap and you're gonna want to pick up the part right there you'll pick up the part and that is the next piece and like I said the other piece honestly Scott said that it was just on the back of a zombie randomly we don't know how he got it to be honest with you it was early uh, I don't know if we figure it out I'll let you know but um that's basically it and then you're gonna want to come back to where I showed you before, it is in the underneath part of the, um, call it the 115, the main laboratory room, which you guys should know the layout of the map at this point. I'm just kind of recapping with that in the beginning. Then once you get down here, if I can actually uh, build the build the mechanism real quick, me. This is pre-recorded. So, it's all you have to do. Press one button, it's going to do its little animation. Whoa, really cool. Only one person can pick up the gun, sadly. You pick up the gun, and in all honesty, it's not that bad. Uh, I mean, I did say a few seconds ago I didn't like it that much, but it's it's average. It's not the best in the world. But, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I will have a uh, Pack-A-Punch 
tutorial coming out soon in case you guys don't know how to do that and a tutorial on how to get the thing I can't pronounce the specialist weapon um, with the skulls and such and then just simple stuff the mystery song and shield and so on and so forth so I hope you guys enjoyed and um, expect more gameplays in the future thank you uh, hey guys, yeah, uh, sorry for all the background noise, I had no fucking clue what that crackling noise was, it was pissing me the fuck off, and every single time I tried to, like, re-do this, it's make it, it made the crackling noise, which honestly was pissing me off so hard. I think I got rid of it, I realized what it was, but I'm just, I never, like, got a chance to go back and fix it, and I just rendered it and everything, so... Sorry about that, and then background noise. It's pissing me off too. Sorry, I needed to get this video out. It's 8.16, so. I did the same thing for Drives and Drock. I released a video like this at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Things are pretty hectic, so. I apologize. Please forgive me. Don't hurt me. Um, Padre. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys understand.